no hay nadie más que yo Uno es el número mágico En vida y en muerte Uno es todo ¿Comprende? Ah, what it do people? It's the ball smack top soil coming to you live from Compton, California with the world's famous ball smack gnosis bootleg movie review. Today's film American Gangster starring Denzel Washington and uh, Idris Elba, T.I. Common, RZA, and um, what's that white boy name? Oh, Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. This film has been highly anticipated. A lot of motherfuckers have been waiting for this film. Right now, every nigga I know has a copy of this film and is currently reviewing it. The film is blockbuster quality. Very rare that you get a film like this so early in the game in the ball smack topsoil. is feeling blessed right now. And I'm going to tell y'all straight out. This film is okay you know it's okay um i expected more man i expected more um it's not that denzel didn't bring it to the table i but like i said this film is is really beautiful man i i i don't know how i was able to get out here like this and and it's going through the hood and 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 a lot of niggas is, is is enjoying it right now as I talk to you about this. Now, this film, while it was beautiful and it's a really like a period film with regard to it's a black film that's depicting uh, a time in the past. It's, it's, it, it looks good. The cinematography is good. The vehicles is good. Everything is good. Um, it's the story of Frank Lucas, uh, a, a, you know, big time dude from Harlem. Came, he came in. in under Bumpy Johnson. You know, uh, he 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 pioneered the early game. Uh, went to went to Vietnam and got his dough, brought it back uncut, took over the streets, and it's just it's just really the same story of the rise and the fall, you know, of the of the of the of the tycoon, you know. Uh, I gotta say though, for real, I I I kind of anticipated more. From this film, I, I was kind of let down a little bit. I was kind of let down a little bit. Even though I, I wanted to know the story, I was kind of let down by the Frank Lucas character played by Denzel. I was, I was not impressed. Uh, I mean, I, I look at this film and... The Frank Lucas character was just was just dry. It, it wasn't, you know, it just wasn't a lot of flavor to it. Denzel left me flat in this role. Maybe they could have went with a younger motherfucker. Um, I don't know. Maybe I I don't know. But I say this: Cuba Gooden Jr. did come through as the character of. Uh, Nicky Barnes. Now, you know, I know Nicky Barnes is a snitch or whatever, but I mean, Cuba Gooden, the scenes that he was in there as, as Nicky Barnes was tight. 
Uh, I feel like they should go ahead and try to get the Nicky Barnes movie going. You know what I'm saying? They need to do that. I know that Nicky Barnes. Nicky Barnes is a motherfucking snitch, so he should be able to give all the motherfucking facts. You know what I'm saying? So it should be a real good film. They need to hook that up. Cuba Gooden Jr., hook that shit up. You could get an Oscar for that shit. Y'all need to do that. The Nicky Barnes, I'm telling y'all. Nicky Barnes in this film was good. Now, as far as the Frank Lucas story, it kind of, I guess the film took away from me because the the little downfall parts in there, you know, the typical downfall parts, you know, the bitch, the, 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 the family members involved and in the business, all the little bullshit, you know, you just see him, you, you see what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. You're watching it and you know what's going to happen. So, in that respect, I, I really wasn't impressed with this film, but I would say as a bootleg, as a bootleg, just the quality. I'm talking about blockbuster quality. I don't know what's going on. Every now and then, you know, a bootleg get out there with blockbuster quality for no reason. I remember back in the days, Million Dollar Baby was out there like that, you know, and and usually when they come out like that, it's some something to it. Soul Plane was out there like that. Blockbuster quality way before it came out. But it was a fucked up film. So maybe I thought maybe somebody like Snoop or somebody just was like, fuck it, bootleg that shit now. Get it out there. Fuck it. You know. But anyway, this film, I, I don't know what why the early bootleg quality. But, you know, it's always a blessing to come across one like that. And, um, you know. I don't know. Like I said, Denzel did not come through in this in this film. Uh, and the dude that played Bumpy Johnson was, you know, the dude Prince Pops from Purple Rain, that nigga, a uh, nigga from Tales in the Hood. I think they should have had Larry Fishburne in there to continuation the the Bumpy Johnson part. You know, show an old Larry Fishburne. You know. And they should have had that. I think they should have had that nigga from The Wire play uh, that part Denzel played. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I, I think they should have had that motherfucker uh, Idris Elba play the, uh, this role that Denzel played. I, I, you know, even though Idris Elba was in the film and he had a little weak part, um, he should. I think they should have gave that role to him. I don't know if Denzel was good in this role, you know. Russell Crowe, I mean, you know. He tried to bring something to the role, but, I, you know, it's like, so what? I, I know they had to pay him a lot of money to do that. They, they, they didn't get their money worth, you know. So, there it is there. Uh, yeah. So I'm 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 gonna leave off right there. That's my vibe. That's my feeling. The Boss Magnosis Bootleg Movie Review, American Gangster. Now, I'm not hating on my nigga Common, but you know I, I saw Common talking a whole lot about how he had to prepare for this role and. He really didn't do shit. I mean, he in there and, and he have a, 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 I think like a couple lines, but he, I, I would have liked to see more. Nothing like Smoking Aces, you know. And Smoking Aces, I thought he contributed a lot to that film. and But not this one. And T.I., T.I. didn't contribute to this film. Like, he, not what you think, you know what I'm saying? And and I don't know if that's a reflection on to his legal uh, situations right now with these guns. Okay, go. I suggest you own this film, American Gangster. It's worth it to own it. While it's not the best film, I expect it more. Um, I, I, it's still worth it to own it. And um, you should cop that. You know what I'm saying? Certified by the ball smack top soil.
no hay nadie más que yo Uno es el número mágico